treat. Yeah. Maria, welcome, Maria. welcome. Thank... Como esta? Ah, bene, bene. This is Lisa Mateo. So nice to meet you. I'm going to take you in the kitchen, and you and I are going to get working. And you just make yourself at home. You're at home here. I am at home here. All right. All OK. Right. Let's go, Lisa. I... The kitchen at Validia, home to Lydia Bastianich and Chef Fortunato, and now you. So, Lydia, thank you for making us part of your family. Well, this is what we're all about, cooking for people, for our friends, for our customers, and family. Yes. Like you. He's an artist at it, and yes. uh, I'm glad you came to see how we do it. Judge Domingo has been raving about this dish. It has the inspiration of your tradition, as well as your touch as well. It's like creating good music, harmony. This is. Fettuccini, the name exactly because it's his kind of invention. The tagliatelle, it is. tagliatelle al Barolo. So it's made instead of use water, we use uh, Barolo wine. And we start to make this dish because with white truffle actually, which come also from Piedmont. So Barolo and truffle come both from Piedmont. Mm -hmm. So I think it is a great uh, marriage. You smell that mustiness, mm. that deliciousness. Right, 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 right. So the, you have the wine here, the truffle, which goes at the end. Dodo, you're gonna begin with, with some porcini mushroom. Yeah, when, right? when they're in season, we use porcini mushroom. Put some uh, little butter on a pan. The butter in this case, with the mushroom, is the main ingredient. We slice the porcini. Two ingredients to make the sauce. Mm -hmm. But when you have the best ingredients, simplicity in execution is really primary mushrooms. We have porcini and they're the best that Italy has. These are the black truffles, mm -hmm. the norcino, the perigordino. Then there's the white alba truffles, okay. which only come in September, October, and November. And those are really intense and really aromatic. Mm -hmm. And Judge Mango is mad over this dish. <laughs> so we're ready now to put the pasta. Now you also have your own pasta. The dry Lydia's pasta, but this is fresh pasta. Yeah. And, and Dodo, this is made every day. We have one person who does pasta from the morning to the night. So sometimes he just yeah. finished to do ravioli and we put it in the water. There's a definite difference in texture and mm -hmm. flavor between fresh pasta and dry pasta. This dish goes best with fresh pasta, mm -hmm. and especially the way Dodo has it with the Barolo wine. So you can imagine making the pasta, and instead of the water, you put the Barolo wine to pull it together. Just a splash. How long does this pasta cook? Three minutes, four minutes is ready. Mm -hmm. wow. Take okay. some of the water of the pasta, finish the sauce. So put some of the water from the pasta into the sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The pasta now is ready. We finish to cook the pasta in the sauce. You have been working together for 20 years. 20 years. He came over uh, as a young chef, very enthusiastic. There was a lot of talent there, but there was a lot of passion. And he said, oh, I'm going to stay a year or two, just get to know New York. Well, 20 years later, he's still here. <laughs> and I love it. And this is his kitchen. Felidia now is his. He runs the kitchen here. Innovative, delicious, at the same time, simple. But the intensity the and understanding the, the ingredients. A little cheese. We finish uh, with okay. some grated Gran Padano. Is it hard for you to stay out of the kitchen? We collaborate on ideas and we do testings. But when the, 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 the dining room is full and there's heat in the kitchen really cracking, it's Fortunato's uh, kingdom. It's his turn. <laughs> and the pasta now is ready to be plated. It's looking beautiful. And so you see, not too much sauce. The pasta has finished cooking in that sauce. And the butter, mm -hmm. and a little bit of the pasta water, and the mushrooms. Then he'll add the truffle. Here he has peeled the truffle. A pairing with a dish like this, it's good to have vegetables on the side? Absolutely. Chives, we have nettles, we have ramps, zucchini flowers. So it's, you know, you balance it off. Cooking and eating is all about balancing. Okay, 